know that teachers are important for learning, but they don't operate in a vacuum, they operate in the context of a broader political system. And our study is about teachers in India, and what we're interested in looking at is whether the electoral process matters for the recruitment and hiring of, of teachers, and whether we see reorganisation of teachers happening at a specific phase of the electoral cycle. So in our study, we find evidence of significant reorganisation of teachers happening in the post-election period. This relates to the state assembly elections taking place in India. And particularly what we look at, we look at what's happening to the transfers of teachers, teacher transfers between school and the number of teachers hired and, then, and new teachers appointed. And we find that they increase significantly after the post-election period, up to about 50%, 50 which is quite a significant increase. We also look at uh, whether we find variation in learning of primary school pupils in relation to the electoral cycle, and we find that pupils do worse in school, in tests in school, in this, in this year that coincides with this reorganisation of teachers. This may be for a few reasons. We just su suggest that it might be because of just post-election momentum of a new government. They start hiring more people, they start transferring more, more teachers. But it also might be because of a backlog created by the Model Code of Conduct, which basically bans the hiring and transfers of government officials prior to elections. So we think that these transfers and hiring are then implemented after, after the election period. Because we don't find any effect of the electoral cycle on learning of students in private schools, we think that our findings also shed new light on, on the research on performance differences between public and private sector schools in developing countries.